All right, so Monster Bot out of nowhere. How about that? Uh, this guy was just announced at New York Comic Con a couple of days ago. And uh, immediately went up for pre-order on Hasbro Toy Shop. And even with standard shipping, this guy was shipped yesterday, arrived today. Got here overnight uh, with just the standard shipping. So uh, very cool. It is Grotesque, uh, the last of the Monster Bots uh, here in the Titans Return line. Uh, here he is with... Uh, they call him Twin Cross. What's what's his real name? <sighs> Twin Inferno. Twin Inferno is what they're calling him. But anyway, and Repugnus. And uh, there they are all together. Now Repugnus kind of got the short end of the stick, being just the tiny little uh, Titan Master, whereas these two got. Uh, Deluxes. They are the same mold. I think it's funny that once again, because uh, uh, Fans Hobby already did this, <laughs> used the same mold for the both of these guys. And here it is again, although very different transformations. Here, these are his arms, obviously, and all this whole panel flips around. He's got a really, I love the way his head transforms and collapses into his robot mode, which will show off very quickly. Or shortly, I guess. Um, here is Fengal, his... Very nicely painted. He's got even, even his teeth on this little saber tooth head are painted on this Titan Master. Um, but a fully painted Titan Master, I love the purple and teal and, and the grayish white. And there's his face. We'll go ahead and flip him in half. He can sit in the cockpit here uh, on Grotesque. He also came with Scorponok. Now, Scorponok, much like the ones in the other sets, uh, is just a little die cast Titan Master. So there he is, purple and kind of cream colored. Fold him in half, and uh, there he is as a scorpion knock head. He looks good on Grotesque. We'll show him off on Grotesque, but uh, doesn't really have a body. It'd be nice if he had a body. I'd love to see a Titan class scorpion knock, but uh, it's nice that we got at least a little Titan Master. And like I said, die cast. He's definitely heftier than the standard ones, although I have been able to get him to stand without many issues. And there is the card art for Grotesque. He came packaged the same way that RC did in that kind of black box that opens up. But, uh, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and get this guy turned into a robot. And it's pretty much the same uh, transformation as Twinferno with the exception of the monster head. He's got the same wings, the guns attached in the same way. The guns attached, you know, you can have, you saw I have the Titan Master sitting up here on these pegs. Uh, there's also two pegs that you can have a Titan Master just riding his back up here if you wanted in monster mode. And they split apart just like before. So yeah, to transform him, like I said, it's a little easier because you don't have to flip the arms down and fit him into the little slots here on the side. So just go ahead and fold his feet up, his legs up like this, split the legs. This actually still doesn't hold together great back here, but I've actually managed to get this to hold together pretty decently. It's not doing it right now, but if you squeeze this, be sure to squeeze this all together. You can kind of get this to hold together a little better. Still problematic though, unfortunately. Untab the bits up here and flip them down, flip the tail around, fold these down. Lock them in place and rotate the feet forward. Like that. Lower half's done. Flip up the claws. Bring the arms around like that. Flip up the claw. Rotate around to the bottom. Pull the fist out and flip it out. Spread the wings. And then the head kind of split it at the jaw. Open up his jaw. His jaw does open in beast mode, which is kind of cool. Uh, but pull this down. Then this whole assembly comes up on this hinge, down to his back. This folds down onto the chest, and that folds up. And there is his base robot body. Go ahead and give him his guns here. And then we'll attach Fengal as his head. Just like that. Goes in pretty easy. He doesn't have to fight it the way I have on some Titan Masters. There he is. He's got the Titan Master neck port. Uh, swivels forward and back and side to side. This little panel comes up to give him more range of motion on the arm there. Bicep swivel, hinge elbow to about 90 degrees. No wrist swivel, but uh, he does, uh, you know, they flip out. 
no waist swivel uh, because the, although this piece does flip up uh, dual hinged hips thigh swivel hinge knees to a little over 90 degrees not really any ankle tilt aside from uh, if you unlock this you get a little bit uh, then with the swivel at the uh, at the foot and here he is with his monster bot buddies again repugnus really kind of getting the short end of the stick as a titan master uh, i guess if we want we could like there's his head at least maybe we could pretend there's his robot mode very teeny next to them <laughs> But yeah, very cool. Like, I love the colors on him. I love the alter transformation. I think I like him better than I like Twinferno. Uh, but yeah, and then, uh, like I said, you, if you want to, even though he has no official body, Scorponok doesn't look too bad. The purple's a little different, but uh, you can stick him on there, too. Like I said, Scorponok's just going to be a little collector. going to go on my desk at work little collector's item but i really love grotesque i really i really am happy i'm just super surprised at how quickly that went from uh and being announced at new york comic-con to being pre-orderable to being delivered is really the, the the big uh surprise there it's just how fast it got here after i ordered it but yeah very cool uh there is grotesque and fengal with titan master scorponok